To demonstrate this example, let's draw a shape. We'll shift it to live, tap into edit mode, grab one of these edges and bevel it. Then from here, we're gonna select a target. We'll draw another shape, but this time I'm gonna hold shift. And then after extrusion, we're just gonna hold shift to shift it to live. I'm gonna tap in edit mode and we're just going to add a loop cut down the middle and just grab these two sides and remove them, turning that into a triangle. Next, we'll draw another shape, but this time we'll shift it to live again, place a loop cut in the middle, grab this piece, extrude it out, grab these two pieces, extrude them out, giving us a much different piece. In fact, let's grab this one and also extrude it down, resulting in a rather unique piece. We'll draw a fourth piece, shift it to live, and from here, we'll just perform a combination of the previous techniques where we add a loop there, we grab one of these sides after adding a loop in order to extrude it out as well, just giving us this particular shape. So basically, whenever you're drawing a shape, you can hold Alt and you can scroll to recall any of your previous shapes. And of course, keep in mind, if you want the same proportions as those shapes, you can press Tab, which will give you dots. And during the positioning of the draw dot, you can hold Shift in order to get a one-to-one -one recreation of the shape that you're recalling. So if we hold Alt and we scroll again, we can recall our previous triangle, where I can just basically drag the dot while holding Shift in order to get it back to an equidistant amount. And then we can click to apply. So basically, we recall the cutter that was used here and cut here. So let's just draw another shape. From here, I'm just gonna hold Alt and scroll. We don't even have to pause in order to Alt scroll, but I just prefer to pause whenever I'm Alt scrolling. And let's just call in this other shape where I can then drag the extrude dot and hold Control in order to snap that. And we can even drag this dot, the draw dot, and hold Shift in order to snap it to something equidistant. So just like that, we're able to recall shapes on the fly based on our previous cuts that we performed and modified.